everybody. It's Amy coming to you live from my house. Here we are. Um, so thanks for joining me. I have had a lot of you reach out and ask um, about doing live stream classes. Um, I don't think I can do them because I am watching my two young kids. My husband's working from home and I just don't think it's gonna work out. I think it's gonna be madness. And even now you might see them pop in and ruin this video, so. Um, I have had a lot of you say that you miss the reformer so much and while I see a lot of live streaming classes out there, I'm not seeing anything that's mimicking the reformer. So that's what I want to do for you today and I'm going to do a couple little like 20-30 minute chunks. So this first chunk that I'm filming is going to be um, lower body and abs and then I'll do another one that's upper body and abs as well and you can pretty much just add them together for a full body workout. So here we go. What you need, if you have sliders, awesome. If you don't, paper plates, frisbees work. Also two towels um, on a soft surface that will work like a hardwood floor or even like a kitchen floor, like a tile floor. Um, a mat, if you have one of these little booty bands, the um, rubber band bands. And then I'm just using all the props. If you don't have them, that's fine. But ball and magic circle, if you have those, um, you can also use a light set of hand weights. Here's a big weight I'm gonna use for some ab work. Um, if you have one, if not, wine bottles work, canned goods work. Um, ball of bangles, if you wanna put them on your ankles or on your wrists for a little more upper body. Again, this is mainly lower body focused day. And then for some of the standing work, if you're a little unsure of your balance, a back of a broom works awesome. So does um, a table, a chair, anything you're near. All right, let's get started. Okay. Okay, so I'm starting lying on my back. I'm gonna take that band, if you have it, place it right above the knee, so on the upper thighs. It's a pretty heavy band, too, so the heavier one, um, the better for this. And you're gonna scooch down, placing your toes Tips of your toes, you can also do flat-footed. Makes it a little bit high, um, harder if you have the heel lifted. All right, we're gonna do 45 seconds. We're laying all the way down. The fingers reaching long, head resting down. Back nice and long. You've got those heels lifted. You're gonna do your bridge. Bridge all the way up. Pull the ribs in, pull the belly in. Keep the pelvis really steady. You're gonna reach the right leg away. Exhale, bring it back in. Reach the left leg away. Exhale, bring it back in. I'm setting my timer 45 seconds here, you guys. 45 seconds. You're just alternating. Inhale, exhale to pull it back in. This is your hamstring curl, your hamstring work. So think of this as the reformer. You're sliding away on the reformer. You're pulling yourself back in. A little bit different, but it still works. Inhale out. Exhale back in. You're contracting those glutes. Pull the belly in. Pull the ribs in. Pull the um, keep the pelvis really steady. You've got a few more seconds here. Inhale up. Exhale in. You're alternating. If you want a little more challenge, you can try to slide both legs out. Ooh, pull both legs in. So much hamstring. It's killing me. Nice, you guys. All right, we're there. We're gonna hold here. 45 seconds, we're gonna do a little drop. So lower an inch, lift an inch, those little hip tops. Lower, left. Drop the booty a couple inches, exhale, squeeze at the top. You've got that band stretching apart, so you've got the outer thighs and glutes working. Little tucks. Nice, press down through the backs of the arms, your triceps, fingers reaching long. Woo, keep those heels elevated so you get a nice little bit of work in the calves. Ankles and arches, strengthening, tiny little tucks. Hamstrings are on fire. Lower, lift, little tucks. Keep pulling that navel in. Don't let the belly dome out. Reach long through the fingers. Let's see how we're going on time. We're there. Beautiful job. All right, we're gonna hold here. We're just gonna butterfly those knees up. Keeping the heels lifted. Keeping the heels lifted. Butterfly the knees up. Nice. Open mouth exhales. Ooh, it's already heating up. You're working on that abduction work or pressing out. Keep breathing. Keep everything steady. Just those thighs are reaching out. Knees point up towards the sky the whole time. Heels lifted if you can, guys. You're breathing, you're breathing. This is just your first little bit. You're doing amazing. Ooh, 
keep pressing out. Hold, squeeze, resist as you come back in. Hold, squeeze, resist as you come back in. Got four seconds. Three, two, one, hold it up. You're gonna slowly articulate all the way down. Whoo, drop the heels. All right, we're gonna combo it out. Last one, 45 seconds. So combo, you're gonna bridge all the way up. You're gonna send right leg out, left leg out. Then you're gonna press your band out. Drop, drop one time, lift one time. Right leg, left leg, press the band out. Drop an inch, lift an inch. All right, here we go. All right, 45 seconds. Lift the heels high if you can. Right leg, left leg. Press the band out, drop an inch, lift an inch. Right leg, left leg. Band out, drop an inch, lift an inch. You're doing great. Band out, drop an inch, lift an inch. Press long through those arms. Don't let that booty drop. Control, press out with that band. Woo! Full body. Nice. You're doing it. Almost there, guys. Saying this for myself, too. Last one. Woo! Lower all the way down. Beautiful job. Okay. You're gonna ditch those sliders for a moment out of the way. We're going into some core. So, soles of the feet together, stretch that band out really wide. Pull the belly in, hands behind your head, chest lift, chin tucks toward your chest, squeeze your belly in, lift your chest, tiny pulses. And then hit our timer 45 seconds. 45 seconds. Nice, navel towards your spine, elbows wide. Instead of looking up towards the sky, draw your chin towards your chest. You can always have your arms down by your sides as well. Little reaches forward. Keep that band stretching apart. Soles of the feet pressing together. Press your heels together, press your big toes together. Keep that band stretching. Your butterfly position. Shoulders out of the ears, little reaches. Navel towards your spine. Got 15 seconds, guys. Keep dragging that navel in, keep the belly flat rather than letting it dome out towards the sky. Woo! Nice. Five, four, three, two, and one. You get a little rest, little rest. Okay, bring those legs back in. We're gonna kick it up a notch. So soles of the feet together. If you wanna stay here, you can. Otherwise, elevate the legs high, press the feet together. 45 seconds, we're on the clock. Go. Makes it a little bit tougher. Press the feet together. Keep pressing the knees out really wide. You can always add in the arms. If it's too much, hand behind your head. You can alternate the arms. Keep pressing out with that band. Feet together. That little diamond shape in between the legs. If it's too much, you just modify by placing the feet back down. This is our little break with some ab work for five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Lower all the way down. Take a little rest. Windshield wipe with the knees from side to side. All right, sideline. Here we go. So your forearms down. Doesn't matter if you're going right or left side. My left arm's down. So I'm feeling my left oblique. If you're mirroring me, then your right elbow's down, you're feeling your right oblique. Bottom leg is bent, top leg lifts. You're gonna extend that top leg out. Make sure there's space under your lower rib cage. You're feeling your lats, intercostal muscles, obliques kick in. If you wanna modify this one, you can just be down on your forearm. Okay, here we go. You're gonna lift that leg up and bring it back down. Just lift and lower, 45 seconds. That top arm can be behind your head, it can be on your hip, it can be in front of you for stability. Nice. Excellent as you lift. I like a flexed foot. You can also do a pointed toe. You want to stretch that band and then resist as you come back in. Don't let that band just snap you back down. I'm shocked at how hard this is to teach and do it with you guys. Oh my gosh. Woo! You're doing amazing. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. How are we doing? 13 seconds. 13 seconds. Exhale, lift. Squeeze that booty. Resist slow to come back down. Slow to go up. Slow to come down. You have three seconds. You have two. And one. Bend the leg in. Give your butt a little pat. 
All right, guys, here we go. Here we go, 45 seconds, 45 seconds. Lift the knee up, there's a lot of space between those knees. I'm gonna kick it out, bring it back to just tabletop, knee stack. Nice, press, and then bring it back in. Keep breathing, lighten that forearm, shoulder away from your ear. There's no tension or stress in your neck. You're lifting that lower rib cage. I should kick in, and just coming in so that the knees stack, not all the way to the chest. Just a little movement but you're keeping that space in between the knees as if you had a ball in between them right now. Woo! Feeling that burn. Reach, full flex, pull back. Get, and pull back. You have three seconds. Woo! And last one. All right, clamshell, here we go, here we go. Connect the heels together, lift the knees apart. 45 seconds, 45 seconds, here we go. The heels are connected like a hinge. Everything stays pulled in. You're just lifting that top leg up. And then lower back down. And then lower back down. Beautiful. Almost there, you guys. It's just like at the reformer. <laughs> we have our bands. We're working our booty. Exhale, lift, and how is this as you come back down? Got those heels connected. You're just opening up that top hip. You're working against that resistance of your band. And two, and one. Beautiful job. Okay, last one of some circles. Everybody's favorite. Okay, I'm gonna hit my butt. I'm gonna lift that leg up. Point or flex foot, it's up to you. I'm gonna do point foot because I did flex for everything else. And I'm repeating timer on. 45 seconds, 45 seconds. So the good news is we're just doing half as much one direction, half the other. So we're splitting that 45 seconds up. So counterclockwise or clockwise, just keep it moving, little circles. Draw with your big toe or draw with your heel if you have a flexed foot. And we're at the halfway point, reverse it. Oh, reverse it. <laughs> keep lifting that lower rib cage, belly in, shoulder away from your ear, belly in towards your spine. You got it. You're reversing it. Three, Woo. two, and last one. Awesome job, you guys. You did it. Hit your booties. You made it. Okay. We're going to into a little bit more core. A little bit more core while we're here. All right. Soles of the feet. You're placing that band around the arches. So band around the arches. All right, band around the arches. You're flexing your feet up towards the sky. We're gonna do a little bit of oblique work. So, knees stacked right over hips at tabletop position. 45 seconds, here we go. Press that band, or pull that band apart, rather. Hands behind the head, nod the chin to the chest, curl up. You're gonna pull that left knee and right leg extend. Hold it there, hold it there. Rotate to the left, and back through center. And back through center. Nice. So you're keeping that band. That left knee pulled in, that right leg extended. If you're doing the opposite leg, doesn't matter. It's just the knee that's pulled in, that's the direction that you're twisting. <sighs> opposite elbow, opposite knee, kind of like your bicycle or your crisscross. <sighs> Keep pressing away with that straight leg. <sighs> nice. <sighs> you're doing amazing. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Inhale, <sighs> exhale, open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Three, two, and one, come all the way back down. Pull the knees in, quick second. All right, you know where we're going. 45 seconds, other side. Knee stack over hips. You're gonna extend your left leg out, pull your right knee in. Hold it, hold it, flex your foot, and then twist. Nice, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Nothing moves in the pelvis, everything really steady. Exhale, cross, inhale, center. Nice, press away with that band. Keep that right knee or left knee, whatever your bent knee is, stacked over your hip. Nice, elbows really wide. Try to see if you can pull and wrap that opposite rib cage across rather than elbow to knee. Even if it's just a little twist, try to keep the shoulders away from the ground. Open mouth, exhale. Woo! How are we doing here on time? Feels like forever. Three, two, and one. Okay, we're back. One last one, you guys. 45 seconds, one last one, you got it. 
All right, knees into tabletop position. You're gonna curl up as high as you can, hands behind your head. Right leg extends out, left leg extends out like a bicycle. Whoop. So pull the band apart first, that really helps press, and then press, press, and then press. So one pull, one press. Knee into chest, one leg presses away from you. Beautiful. Tap into those low abs a little bit. Pull the navel in towards your spine. Keep that band stretching apart. That's going to help you. Flex feet. Push with your heels. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Shoulders lifted. You're almost there, guys. You're almost there. Three. Two. And one. Oh, release. Nice job. Pulling the knees in. Give yourself a second. All right, we're going to rise all the way up. We're going to bring that band back to our thighs again. So we're still on the same side. <laughs> I'm going to pull that band all the way up to your thighs. We're going to come to all fours. All fours position or quadruped position. Palms under shoulders, knees under hips. If you need a little quick cat cow, you can. All right, here we go. A little bit more booty work. Okay. I'm doing right. If you want to do left, you can. Right knee lifts and then lower it down on hydrant. Lift. And lower. Belly stays pulled in tight. If it's too much, you can be down in your forearms as well. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Think of nice long neck. Shoulders out of the ears. Slight little micro bend in the elbows so you're not hyperextending. Try not to lean. So the tendency is kind of lean to the left, away from the leg that's lifting. You're doing it. You got it. Awesome work, guys. Last few seconds, neck long, chin away from chest. You're looking down and slightly forward. Three, two, and one. Woo, you made it. Sit back on your heels, give yourself a quick second. All right, here we go. Right into the next step, right leg kicks back. Flex your foot, flex your foot. Tap the ground, lift up. Tap the ground, lift up. Belly pulling in, long neck. Palms right under shoulders. A little soft micro bend in the elbows. When I put this together, I did not know it would be this hard. It is really hard. And I haven't even done the other side or my standing work yet. 45 seconds is a long time, you guys. Woo! Nice, you got it, you got it. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Little lift, little lower. So remember, this is lower body and abs. And we'll do upper body in the next series. Awesome, 45 seconds, Woo, bring it in, take a quick, quick break. You're on the last one, combo. We go out to the side, pull it in, lift up. Out to the side, pull it in, lift up. 45 seconds, that's it for this side, guys. Nice, extend, pull, lift. Out to the side, and lift. Think about what's going in the core. Belly pulls in, if you want to, you can slightly round through your low back if that feels like it's a little better for not putting pressure in your low back. Long neck, I always have to remind myself. Almost there. Out to the side. Ooh, how are we doing on time? Three, two, and one. So back on the heels, give yourself a little stretch. Get that booty, shake it around. All right. All right. All right, time for some more abs. Time for some more abs, and then we're getting onto our feet for a little bit. We're going to hit the other side. We're going to get onto our feet, do the other little bit, and we will be out of here. So, all right, magic circle. If you do not have a magic circle, you do it without. It's fine. If you want to use the ball instead, you can always squeeze the ball as well. Or nothing. I'm just going to use the props I have, and maybe you have them too. If not, you try whatever makes sense for you. Okay, 45 seconds. Here we go. Press the feet firmly into the ground. Squeeze that magic circle. Pull the belly in. Rise all the way up. Ring goes overhead or ball. Slowly tuck, curl it around. Scoop the abs in all the way down. Ring over chest. Squeeze that ring. Tuck the chin to your chest. Roll up slowly. Nice tall spine. Maybe ring lifts or ball lifts to chest height. Roll all the way down. Bring lands over your shoulders or over your chest. Roll up, lift, 
Squeeze the belly and articulate all the way down. You've got that ring, squeeze it. Chin to chest, roll all the way up through the spine. Lift high, roll back down. Nice. Squeeze that ring a little bit. Squeeze that ball if you have it. Last one. You're coming halfway down. Halfway. Give that ring a little squeeze. 45 seconds. 45 seconds, you guys. Little pulses. Down an inch, up an inch. Give that ring a squeeze. You can always do elbows wide as well. Press your feet down. I know they want to lift. Tuck coming around that low back. Abs pull in. Navel toward your spine. Sit up nice and tall. You got it. Roll down a couple inches. Lift a couple inches. Give that ring a little squeeze. Got five, four, squeezing that ring into a tight little oval. Three, two, roll all the way down, all the way down. Knees pull in. Give yourself a second. Breathe in. Lift all the way up. Hold. Single leg stretch. Ten, nine, eight. One leg extends. One leg up. Forty-five degrees. One knee bends into your chest. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees. Slowly release. All right, little ab series, done. And we're gonna reset, we're gonna come to the other side. So instead of laying on my left side, I'm gonna switch to my right side. I'm gonna take that band over my thigh again. Okay, so you're lifting that lower rib cage. Let me make sure I am in, my little towel over. Lifting that lower rib cage, belly pulls in. That top leg extends, top leg extends. Flex the foot, belly in. You got it, 45 seconds. Here we go. Just a lift. You're gonna squeeze your booty tight. Hand can be behind your head, can be on your hip, in front of you like a little tripod for more balance. Nice, easy breaths. Press, pull and resist to come back down. And that abduction work, we're pressing away. That's where the work comes, not squeezing in, pressing away. Nice, keeping that booty really tight, toes flat, lead with your heel. You gotta keep breathing, keep breathing, super strong. We haven't even got to the standing stuff yet. We're getting there. Woo! Three, two, one. Oh, thank goodness. Pull it in, hit your booty. This works well. Okay, I'm gonna send that leg out. Now we're gonna do that knee pulling in. All right, ready? Let's go. Knee pulls in, stack, and extend back. Knee pulls in just to the leg stack and extend back. Nothing else moves. You could rest a hot cup of coffee on your hip. It would not fall off. All right, pull it in, extend. Pull in to resist. You've got it. I like an exhale to press away, inhale to resist, but you can do the opposite. You can do inhale up, exhale to resist. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. Don't get too hung up on the breath. Oh, side dying. Woo! You're doing amazing, guys. You're doing amazing. Try not to sink into that lower shoulder. Lift that lower rib cage up. Feel your core tighten up. Abs and costals, obliques. Three, two, one. Oh, man. All right, clamshell, clamshell. All right, heels connected. We're almost to those circles and then we're done. All right, give me a second, <laughs> 45 seconds. Here we go, connect the heels together. Clamshell open. Slow and steady, one, two, three to open, one, two, three to close. Breathing, keep that nice long neck. Check in if your head's lowering down or if you're looking in a weird direction, keep that nice long line. You can always be down on the ground as well. You can use your arm as a pillow for your ear. Ooh. Have really toned, tight little booties by the time this is over. Almost there, almost there. How are we doing? Three, two, one, all right, give yourself a quick second. I've got those circles, I've got those circles. You extend your leg, you can do pointed or flex. Again, I'm gonna do pointed, 45 seconds, 45 seconds. We're splitting it between counterclockwise and clockwise, whatever direction you wanna to go to first. 
Check back in. Is your leg as lifted as high as it can possibly lift? You've got that band stretching really, really tight and you're just breathing as you circle. Halfway point, circle up the other direction. Ooh. Little circles, little controlled circles, like there's a crayon on your big toe, you're drawing with that crayon. Or if you've got a flex plate, you're drawing with your heel. Feels like forever. Almost there, five, four, three, two, and one. Give you a little hit, shake it out. Okay. So I'm gonna face the other direction because I did my right leg before and now I'm gonna do my left leg just so you can see me again. Okay, so you're on that mat or on that towel, palms under shoulders, knees under hips, belly pulls in. Again, if you wanna round a little bit, if that feels better to get that little scoop and those abdominals to fire, you can do that. That's better than doing this and kind of caving in the belly. So whatever feels best for you, I'm gonna hit that clock 45 seconds. Let's do this. Lift out to the side. With that left leg or right leg if you're doing the opposite. Keep breathing. Nice long neck. Neutral spine or slight little tuck under the pelvis as the abs pull in, that rounding of the spine. You choose. A little micro bend in the elbows. If it's too much, you can always come down on the forearms. All the way up to hip, hip height if you can. Chin away from your chest. You got it, guys. Woo! Almost there, almost there. And we're done. Woo! All right, quick second, reset, little cat cow if you need it. We've got that leg kicking back now, 45 seconds. So 45 seconds, left leg kicks up, tap the toe, kick it up. That strong breath, it really helps. Open mouth, exhale as you kick up. If you want to do half the range, just do a baby pulse. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Check in with your breath, check in with your spine, pull the abs up and in. Amazing, guys. Keep breathing, keep moving. Almost there. I'm like, my arm is shaking. <laughs> Two and one. Woo, pull it in. Give yourself a quick second. We got one more. We got one more. It's the combo. So one leg lift, one leg kick back. All right. Let's do this. All right. One out to the side, one kick back. One out to the side, one extend back. You have to keep that band tight the whole time so it doesn't feel like it's sliding or um, kind of rolling on your leg. Woo! And hopefully you can just blast your music and tune me out after you know where you're going. 45 seconds, you just blast your music and tune me out. You can do this every day. It will not get old, I promise. It's so hard every day. the shoulders squirt off to the ground and we're done Whew. all right hit your booty it's tough okay you guys we have made it all the way to our last little ab series and then we're standing up so this next series will be all standing work like we're on the reformer but we're going to finish we're just going to go straight through with follow me now three minutes of abs you can lay your head down. You can use no props. You can use weights. You can use a ball. You can use a ring. Doesn't matter. We're going to do a whole series of five, the Pilates five series. If you know it, follow along with me. If not, I'll guide you through as we go. All right. We have three full minutes, you guys. Three full minutes. Keeping us going the whole time. All right. Let's do this. In three, two, one. One, okay, ring, ball, whatever you have. You're gonna hold it, knees stack over hips, squeeze that ring or that ball, you're gonna curl all the way up. Keep that chest lift, single leg stretch, one leg extends, one leg bends. We've done this before. Give it a little squeeze with that ring or that ball. C curve, squeeze the belly in. Keep the shoulders really lifted, you have 10. 
Nine. Last four. Three, two, double leg stretch. Knees coming to tabletop. Extend the arms and legs in opposite direction. Pull it all the way back in. If you want to modify, lower your head down. You can always lift up or you can keep your head down the whole time. I like to keep my shoulders up. It makes it so much harder. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull it in. Nice. Give that ringer, that ball a little squeeze. Biceps alongside the ear. Shoulders drop down. Belly stays pulled in. Chin towards your chest. Two. And one. Nice. You're going to lower down for just a second. Curl right back up. Big bend in the elbows. You can always do this with your ball too. You're going to twist. Crisscross. Side to side. Pelvis stays really steady. No rocking. Opposite elbow. Opposite knee. If you don't have your prop, hands are behind your head. Awesome, you guys. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Keep that chest up. Chin towards your chest. Pull your belly in. Look towards your knees if you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down. Ring over your chest. Legs high to the sky. Single straight leg stretch. Curl all the way up. Reach your ring high. One leg lowers. One leg lifts. Point toes. Nice. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Give that ring a little squeeze. You can do double pulses if you want. Just five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down for a second. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, you're going to curl all the way up. Okay, you stay there. Chest stays lifted. Legs lower and inhale. They lift up on the exhale. Double straight leg stretch. You got it. I like a little V, a little turn out. Heels together, toes apart, wrapping those inner thighs. Inhale as you lower. Exhale. Lift with the abdominals, those slow transverse abs. Ooh, you got it. Almost there, you guys. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Awesome job. You're going to pull it all the way in. How are we doing on time? We have 12 seconds left. 12 seconds. We can't waste it. Plant the feet. Curl up a little bit. Tiny baby pulses. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, squeeze that ringer, that ball, five, four, three, two, one, and we're done. Ooh, quick little bridge if you want, stretch it out, lift the hips, pull the belly in, just breathe, feel so good, articulate from the top of your spine all the way down, bone by bone, pull the knees in. All right, now's the fun part. So you're gonna get rid of your mat. Um, if you want it to stand on, that's fine too. And now we use our sliders. So if you don't have sliders, again, Frisbee, paper plate works. Also a towel works. I might need this to like drag myself up. Okay, I have sliders, so I'm gonna use the slider. So think of it like the reformer. So my left foot is on the carriage. My left foot's on the carriage. You can also do right too. It doesn't really matter that much. Square off the hips. You're facing forward. So this is the front of your reformer. This is your carriage platform. This is your, um, this is, so this is your carriage. This is your platform. Okay, you're taking that all the way back. This is your front lunge, all the way back. And then all the way back up. Oop, let me get this out of the way. So you're pushing firmly into that left heel, the foot that's on the carriage platform, and you're taking it all the way back. 45 seconds. I lost my 45. Okay, there we go. Nice. So as you go down, that hip flexor, whatever legs on the slidey disc or the towel, that hip flexor is going to kind of kick in. Squeeze your booty. Squeeze your booty. Press through that standing leg heel to get yourself back up. It will help a lot. Slowly lower. Slowly lift. So you can hold a weight if you want, a little more upper body. You can hold a ball, you can hold your ring. You can press it in and out. I am dying, so I am not gonna do that. And I gotta save a little for the upper body series. So if you wanted to, you can make it full body. Nice, all the way to the top. As soon as your leg straightens, you go right back into it. Nice long line from your head to your heel. Belly pulling in, it's really easy to arc here. Pull everything in. All right, 45 seconds is done. We're 
We're gonna press it all the way up. Hold, lean slightly forward, belly in. You're just gonna tuck that right knee in. Press it back. Again, if you add weights or you have your ball of angles or something else, you can add in. That left leg stays stable. Weight in your heel, toes are light. Make sure that knee's not going over your big toe. And you're just gonna tuck the right knee in, press it back. Tuck the right knee in, press it back. You're doing amazing. We have 18 seconds. 18 seconds. Five. See what I did? Four. Okay. Awesome, rise all the way up. Okay, so you've got that combo now. 45 seconds is the last one on this side. Combo it out. Okay, you're going all the way back slowly. Pull the knee in, press it back, push through that left heel, rise up slowly. This is your combo. Press out, pull the knee in, press out, rise all the way up. 45 seconds. Nice. You're almost there, almost there. You have 16 seconds. All the way up. Tuck your knee in. Press it back. Rise all the way up. You're on your tippy toes. Heel lifted on that right leg. Pushing through the left heel on that standing stability leg. 45 seconds. And just to cap it off, just another 20 seconds. Let's take it all the way up. Hold it. You're going to come up an inch, down an inch. Up an inch, down an inch, just 20 seconds. So this is always how we <laughs> do it in my class. If you haven't ever taken my class, I'm always throwing that last little bit in. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Dying, I am dying, okay. So you're just gonna turn to the side now. Same leg that was on that standing platform that doesn't move, the left leg for me, might be the right leg for you. You're gonna turn to the side. So it's like you're facing the side of your reformer now. You're still on top of the carriage. Left foot's on your wood platform. Right toes are on your carriage, the moving part of the reformer. Sink deep into your heel. <sighs> Left heel. Right leg is gonna go out. Ready, 45 seconds. Slow and steady, take it out. Slowly lift up. So you're working that inner thigh and your glute, your butt on that standing leg. Slowly out. Slowly back out. Beautiful guy. So you're just gliding out on that invisible reformer, rising all the way back out. Again, you can do tricep kickbacks. You can reach the arms out if you want to do some flies. I would say pretty lightweight. The focus is on the lower body, but you can make it full body. You can also go out. Let's stay right here with my hands on my hips. You're almost there, guys. Almost there. 45 seconds done. You're gonna press all the way out. Hold it. Stay low in that heel. And you're gonna skate it in. You're on your tippy toes. Stability in your ankle. You're working your calf muscle a little bit. Sit back in your heel. You got it. 45 seconds. Almost there, you guys. We have one last one after this is the combo. Woo. And you can do this every single day, I promise. It does not get old. It is hard <laughs> every single day, just like a regular Barbara glass. Oh man, I'm tired. Woo. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, rise all the way up. We've got one last set. One last set. Okay, 45 seconds. We go out, we do one knee tuck, we go out, we rise all the way up. Let's do this, guys. Sit low, back into the heel. Sink your booty back like you're in a chair. You're out, you do one knee. Pulling in one skater, rise all the way up. Press out, get low. One knee tuck. Press out, rise all the way up. Almost there. You have like 20 seconds left. You're over halfway there. Down, tuck it in, press it out, bring it up. Out, tuck it in, press it out, bring it up. Press heavy in that left heel, that standing leg. Almost here, you guys. Breathe, 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 get low. Tuck it in, press it out, lift up. That combo is where it kills. Three, two, 
one, and just like we always do, let's do that last 20 seconds. Let's finish strong, you guys. All the way out, up an inch, down an inch. Up an inch, down an inch. Make sure your knee's tracking straight ahead. It's not going out to the side. Press firmly through the inside and outside arch of your foot. Press down through your big toe. Just 10 more seconds. Five, four, belly in. Three, two, and one. Woo, we did it. Okay, shake it out, shake it out for a second. Okay, we have one more little thing on this side, and then we're going to the other side and we're done. So, band goes around your ankles. So this is like the skater that we love. You're still facing the same direction, whatever leg was on your wood platform or not moving platform, that left leg for me. Ankles is gonna be way tougher. If you want to be easier, you just move the band up your leg. It can even be above your knees, that's the easiest. I'm gonna go super tough because I missed that before. Right? <laughs> so we're gonna sit really low, weight of the heels, get back. You can be flat footed or you can be on your toes, getting toes a little tougher. All right, we're doing that skater, speed skater. Get really low, press it up, left heel, 45 seconds, here we go. Press it out, pull it in. You're resisting, so you press it out. and out and in slowly. All the weight is in that standing leg, heel, the whole time. Doing amazing, you're doing amazing. Press out, resist to come back in. Outer thighs and glutes are on fire. Almost there guys, eight seconds, eight seconds, eight seconds, we finish with that squat. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna hold it halfway out. Hold it halfway, you can always drop your heel, or you just squat from there. Little baby squats, 45 seconds. We finish it right here. The further you stretch that band apart, the harder it is. Heel lifted so hard. Don't let that standing leg dip in. Knees point straight ahead so your knees are parallel with one another. Weight in that heel, chest lifted, belly in. Woo! How are we doing? 20 seconds, guys, 20 seconds. 20 seconds, you want it harder, stretch your band further apart. You can always press through the heels. You don't have to lift that right heel. <sighs> almost there, almost there, almost there. Woo, we got 13 seconds. We got 13 seconds. <sighs> almost there, guys, almost there. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Four, three, two, and one. <sighs> Bring it in. Drop that band down. All right. I'm gonna hit stop for a second. I'm gonna come down to the ground. I am sweating profusely. All right, let's use our ball. Again, if you don't have a ball, don't use it. You just lay flat on the ground. Same thing. I'm gonna use that ball. I'm gonna move it back a little bit more so it's kind of between my shoulder blades or kind of at my bra line. The reason for this is I wanna find that little scoop and see curve. So instead of my abs just pushing out towards the sky, I'm gonna pull everything in, tuck the tailbone slightly under, pull the abdominals in, Hands behind my head. And again, if you don't have a ball, you're just laying flat on the ground. It's fine. Tiny little pulses. So you're not gonna lift that high, especially if you've got that little scoop. You're gonna be like, I'm not even lifting. That's fine. Just little tiny pulses. Little tiny pulses, 45 seconds. I'm breaking up our lower body so we're not dying. You can add in the arms. You can reach the arms forward. The shoulders are up by the ears, drop them down. Tiny little pulses. I want you to keep that navel pulled in, that scoop. So I know it sounds kind of funny, but it's a good tip. You should feel like you could pour liquid into your belly, but it would stay there. Like your belly's hollowed out like a soup bowl. So everything stays tight, tiny little reaches. You wanna make it tougher, arms come up overhead. Chin stays tight, you're nice and long in your spine. And you've got that tuck, you've got that tuck. Just five, four, three, two. We're gonna go over to the left side or over to the right, your choice. Tiny little pulses, tiny little pulses. 45 seconds left, 45 seconds left. We're gonna split it, 20 seconds on this side, a little over 20 seconds on the other. Like 22 seconds each side, you're doing great. Don't let those knees butterfly in, knees stay pointed up towards the sky, press through the feet firmly. Woo! And we switch, and we switch, go all the way over to the other side, reach, you're gonna wrinkle those arms over. Tiny little reaches. Keep that C curve, scoop the belly in. Keep 
Keep breathing, you guys. Reach long through the fingertips. You have 10 seconds, that's it. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Stretch out for a quick second. I don't want to, but I'm back on my feet again. Okay, so you've got your little slider or your towel. So your right foot's forward this time. Right foot, if you did left on the other side, left foot forward, whatever you choose. So I did left on the other side, so I'm doing right. My left toes are on my little slider disc. Get any props that you want. We're 45 seconds. Let's do this, you guys. Take it back, hips are square all the way back if you want to lean forward. You can't push into that heel. Rise all the way up slowly. So again, if your hip flexor is bugging you, squeeze your booty, press into that standing leg and use that to lift you back up. If you're somebody who wants your ball or your magic circle or your weights, can add them in. Just keep it slow and controlled. Try to keep both hips square to the front, exactly like you're on the reformer. So basically it's like you're doing this lunge series facing forward but with no springs on your reformer and we all know how hard that is. So this is actually harder than usually what we do in class because we're usually on a blue or at least a yellow. This is like no springs. All right, 45 seconds. We're pressing all the way back. Can lean slightly forward if that feels better? Belly in, no, and you're tucking that left knee in. Check in with that right standing leg. If your knee goes too far forward, pull it back. Knee stacks right over your ankle. Pull it in, press it back. I kind of like hands to my hips or my heart. Slow and steady. I know I'm going a little too fast. Okay, we got it. Ooh, don't put my timer. Man, it's failing me. It's failing me. <laughs> Let's call this about 20 more seconds to go, guys. About 20 more seconds to go. You got it. Oh, it was working. Okay. And rise all the way up. Okay, we do the combo. We got that combo. Here we go. Okay, here we go. That combo. You're pressing all the way out. One time knee tucks in. One time you press out. Rise up slowly. You lower slowly. One time you tuck your knee in. Press it back. Rise up slowly. Woo. Press in and out. Tuck it in. Press it back. Rise up slowly. You will feel this one tomorrow. Chin away from your chest. Belly and pink plank, long spine. Press back. Pull in, back, and rise all the way up. Try to keep that planted foot grounded. So you're pressing through your pinky and your big toe as you rise up. Squeeze that booty a little bit. Take the pressure off of the hip flexor. Last one. We made it. You're pressing all the way out. 20 seconds, guys. 20 seconds, that's it. Press out, and you're pulsing up an inch, down an inch, small range of motion. That standing leg is bent the whole time. That back leg, you're just coming in an inch, out an inch. Long neck, slow breath, five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo, we made it, we made it. Okay, so you're gonna be on the right foot, and again, just, I'm gonna face you so that I'm not, you don't see my butt. So, same foot. So whatever foot was on the wood platform, whatever foot wasn't on the slidey disc. For me, that's my right foot. I'm gonna keep it on a non-moving surface. All right, here we go. Almost there, 45 seconds. Press down through that right heel or left heel, whatever you've chosen. Take your carriage out. Slowly bring it all the way up. Helps me if I think of it like as an actual reformer. So I'm going down, I'm rising up that single leg squat. We do this in class a lot. It's like that leg on the carriage doesn't even exist. You're using that inner thigh, that glute to slowly drag you back up. Slowly down, try to keep that knee tracking forward and not pulling in. It's teaching and doing this so much harder than I thought it would be. Maybe I'm just out of shape from running after my kids and not being in the studio with you guys. <laughs> We're gonna press it all the way out. 
Hold it, 45 seconds. You're on the clock, you're just gonna tuck it in. Press it back. Tuck it in, press it back. Ooh, tucking that knee in, like that little skater. That standing leg, you're back in your glute, your heel. Belly in, long neck, you can do hands to hips. So that right stability leg, the leg that's not on the little disc, is the one that's doing all the work. The other leg, it's like it doesn't even exist. So in and out. We're almost there. We've got that combo, we've got that little pulse at the end. We're finished off with core and we're out of here. Five, four, three, two, all the way up. 45 seconds, guys. This is it for this last full range. So it's a combo. We go down, one tuck, one press, all the way up. Lower down, one tuck, one press, all the way up. And we go down. Tuck the knee in, press it back, skate it back, rise all the way up. Go down slow, pull the carriage in. Press it up. All right, it's all the way up. We go down. Ooh. So I miss all of you so much. I hope that this little video, you feel like, oh, I'm back in her class. This is exactly what it would be. Except I am dying with you instead of the other way around. I feel your pain now. <laughs> and rise all the way up. You made it. 20 seconds, final hold. Let's get low, hold it, and lift an inch, lower an inch. Lift an inch, lower an inch. Make sure that knee's tracking forward. Press down through the heel. It doesn't have to be a ton of movement. It could be a tiny little pulse. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, you're all done with this one. Four, three, two, and one. Whoo, congratulations. You have made it. We're gonna finish with a plank to pike variation, really getting into the core. Oh wait, no, I forgot. Just like normal class, I forgot. So we're putting that band on. One last time for our skater. Again, ankles tougher, up the leg's gonna be a little bit easier. Same leg that was on your carriage before your standing platform. For me, it's my right. My left leg was on my sliding disc, but you can change if you would like. All right, elevate those. Heels high over your toes if you can. If you want to modify, you drop your foot flat-footed. Press that band apart. Really get into those outer thighs and glutes. Get low. How oh, we were done, but we're not. 45 seconds on skater. I feel like this class is literally exactly something I would teach in class. And you guys are all looking at me right now be like, I hate you so much. But this is, I mean, I feel like this is as close as we're going to get. Press it out. Pull it back in. That heel stays lifted. Press out as far as you can. Resist slowly. Come back in. Nice. You got it. You can exhale out. Inhale back in. Or you can inhale out and exhale slowly back in. Whatever you choose. Just as long as you're breathing. Tummy stays pulled in tight. Long neck. Again, if you want to tuck under your pelvis and kind of round through your spine, you can always do that as well. Weight in your heel and in your tippy toes of my left foot. All right, we made it. All right, final 45 seconds. Now press out, hold it here, hold it, little pulse. That heel lifted, press that down apart as far as you can. Watch if the knees are tracking forward. Oh, I'm shaking. Woo! You got it, get low. Tiny little pulse, heel stays lifted. You're sitting back into those glutes. Woo! If you want a little more, you press that down out, just one more inch. On the ankles, heavy band, super tight. Our little skaters. We're finishing strong here, guys. Finishing strong, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. And then we get to that final plank, like we do in class. I threw those planks in at the very end. Three, two, and one. Whoo! All right, bring it all the way in, throw that band off. If you want to do a regular plank, that's fine, do a regular plank. Okay, I'm putting these on my toes. Again, you can use two towels 
Or you can even use one towel if you want, but you won't be able to do the legs apart for this last part of the series. Forearms, perfectly fine. Palms, forks, whatever feels best for you. We're going one minute, you guys. One minute, that's it, you're out of here. So you're on your toes. I'm gonna set our timer for one minute. I'm gonna do a little combo, little combo. We're just going straight into it. Oh, I set it for an hour. That's not good, not, not an hour of flaky. Okay, one full minute. Are we going? Yes, we're going, one full minute. Okay, palms or forearms. Palms under shoulders, forearms under shoulders. All right, you're gonna do some mountain climbers, knees pulling into the chest. If this doesn't work for you, again, just hold the plank. Doesn't matter, but you've gotta get your plank in. We're doing 10 seconds here. One minute, that's it. Five, four, three, two, one. Holding that plank, right leg up, left leg up, right leg up, left leg up. Long neck, soft bend in the elbows. 30 seconds, you're at that halfway point. Beautiful. Out and in, just three, just two. Just one, knees tuck in, press it, and back out. You've got that knee tuck, bring it back in. Knee tuck, bring it back in. You've got three, two, and again, you can always modify. Last one's a pike, pike it up, bring it back. This is your hardest one, pike it up, bring it back to your abs, use momentum like I am. Lift up, lower back, three, two, whatever you've got left in your plank. Last one. And we're done. Awesome work, you guys. That was it. We did it. That was killer. If you were doing it with me, um, I thought it was killer. All right. <laughs> I will put it up, up on our page so you can see it. You can always view it. I know this will get annoying, so tune me out. And all you have to do is put on your favorite music and just jam out. But so good to see you. Thank you for being here. Thanks for taking class with me virtually. I love, I miss all of you so much. Thanks guys.